Good morning, Rav Boisai. Ah, Luna Nishmas Mimirosi Ruspas Mordechai. Here you have a picture on top of Kilimanjaro. I hope this email finds you well. You know the people? Oh, I, I'm not going there. I wanted. I, I couldn't get up the block. I'm out of breath. I just walked up the block. I hope this email finds you well. I want to share with you an incredible experience I had this past week climbing Mount Kilimanjaro with a group of 14 climbers to raise funds for Friendship Circle. I looked it up. It's a Lubavitcher uh, organization, I think, for special needs. For those who may not know, Mount Kilimanjaro is located in Tanzania. Tanzania, Tanzania, in Africa. The highest peak in the African continent standing at 58.95 meters. 6,000 meters above sea level. The climb is considered challenging due to the altitude. Bearing weather conditions, Baruch Hashem, we all made it to the top and back in full health. Over the course of seven days, our group had the opportunity to come together in many meaningful ways. One of the highlights was having Minyan three times a day. Guys, do me a favor. Sadiqim. Throughout the climb. Uh, it could be, but you could do that outside. Rabbi David Hasden of the Great Park Synagogue in Johannesburg, South Africa, brought a safer Torah. And led, you had a climb with Sefer Torah. Led daily learning discussions every day. We delved into Chitas, Chumash, Til, Tanya, and in the daily Rambam. On Shabbos, we learned Dabn from Bring the Old Days, surrounded by Hashem's beauty. At base camp, with an elevation of 47 meters, 400, we had a minion in Kriya Torah. Now listen to this. Despite the exhausting challenge we faced, Rabbi Hazan and I were committed to keeping up with the Daf, never missing a single day. They learned to daf every single day. Further, I'm proud to say that a couple, you know what, you just keep on talking over this. It's much better for me at this point. I got you all mad. Good morning, Rabbi Isai. Ah! <laughs> well, we'll do it again because it's very, very important to see. They don't do it themselves. They have guys that help them out. Look at the guy in the background. Hold on one second. Here we go. Uh, it's not going. Good morning, Rabbi That's the same ah! player just walked by in the back. Anyway, so I'm very proud of them. They did the daf every single day. Uh, a few more committed to learning soita daily and agreed to try to continue once to complete soita. As regards, Zev Sandman, New Haven, Connecticut. Rabbi Isai, in Gibraltar, the government school, I mean, this is a 10 year old writing. It was a World Book Day. The theme this year was space, rockets, and aliens. So I guess he got it all. He got the spaceship. He got the alien. I thought that while the other boys were dressed up like Spider-Man, superhero, and cowboys, there's nothing better than rebelling himself in MDY. This is how now, this is now taking the shit to greater heights than Ellie Rowe and Atsala here. And we're cruising a lot higher than 40,000, 45,000 feet. Looking forward to MDY Nozaceum and the MDY Kids Tynaceum in RBS. Aaron Hassett, 10. Nidarim, Nazir. MDY Kids, Gibraltar. I have to say my wife was not very excited about this picture. <laughs> scared her a little bit. It's not that. It's like, it's my face on a small little kid. <laughs> After listening to Ellie's explanation of Mishras and dipping bread into wine, I parked by Avenue Janie's 13th. And look what was right next to my car. Right, if you live in New York, this is very, very common. You come out of your car, you almost step into Mishras. That's, that's on a good day. On not such a good day. Kudach. Kudach is good. Cake and grape juice. Normally, I would just pass this over like nothing. But with the daft, this was filled with meaning. J. Nathanson, L L C S W. So he had this... He had this uh, kiss from Hashem. This person had another kiss. Sunday that discussed what parts are inside the grapes versus outside the grape. Zug and Inbel. In the parasha, discussion of the remen and the bell. And Rashi explains the Inbel. I don't know what's going on with your sound, but uh, maybe just turn it off. I don't need it. Yeah. Fine. Rabbi Yisai, we're in the Aflam Chesem in the base, and we could just do what we did yesterday, the last few minutes, we can do it over real quickly. Oh, I have to go through the sponsors, one cent. No, not that. Oh. The Koilo, thank you. Sponsored by Anonymous from Lakewood. The Koilo sponsored by me, supporting Torah Strength in Narubi Tochen. The Masechta sponsored by Meiser. The Masechta sponsored by Lili Nishmas Chaya Bas Yosef by Anonymous. 
which also happens to be my grandmother's name. And I forgot to mention that yesterday was her yard site. I think, if I'm not mistaken, because I once said, who's this Chayi Bas Yosef? So an anonymous person wrote to me, you know who Chayi Bas Yosef is, it's your grandmother. So I think that he's sponsoring Lili Nishma's I'm not 100% sure. I'm still not sure. Maybe you guys will get that, uh, you know that text you sometimes get after she is over from a certain individual? Maybe he'll text you. I don't know. I'm still not 100%. I hear what he's saying. By the month, uh, sponsor of the month, the MDY family, Lili Nishma's Baruch Elf God, Zuchran Elf Baruch Ben Yibbal Chaim, Baruch Shloyma. Second sponsor of the month, Lili Nishma's Zachary Ben Moisha. Third sponsor of the month, Lili Nishma's Moisha Ben Yehuda, by his community, he was a Holocaust survivor, he lived almost 100 years. Anonymous from Flatbush for continued bracha, mazel, and clarity. By the Landy family, Lili Nishmas Yisrael, Chaim Ben Yeshaya, Yomolet Tzameach, Menachem Mendel Pfefferman, Love, Chana S.K. Pfefferman. And the art is sponsored for a complete refua for Chaim Tzvi, Ben Leah. So, if I were to ask you, where does our hair grow from? Does it start growing from the scalp, or does it grow from the front forward? What would everybody say? From the scalp. So if we were to discuss this now for a few minutes, is that Bittal Taira or Talmud Taira or is it neither? And uh, in fact, we have a whole sugya. The Gemara proves that it grows in the scalp. The Gemara seemed to have a shiloh about it. So let's see over here. We're holding by Omar Abaya. Where? Yeah, yeah. So let's just say Abaya real quickly. It'll take uh, 30 seconds. So Abayi says, uh, What does that mean? Uh, so the, 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 yeah, Omar Abayi. The middle of the daf, smack in the middle. It says in the passing, That's the general cloud, the general cloud. Then it also says, And we had a machlok, so it's all paskin, chartzanim are, the seeds and the zog is the skins. Lo yoichel. So says Abayi. Ochal chartzon loike shtayin. If you eat from the seeds, you get two malkis. One for the red and one for the green. One for mikol ha'shei yosem yigev and ayay and one for chatzayim. Ochal zog. And if he eats the peel, the skin, so he gets two for the purple and the, and the, and the red. If you ate two items, the seed and the peel, like a shalosh, red, green, and purple. You only get one. Since the top lav, also includes a lot of things, it's an umbrella, it's all included. So therefore, you don't get malchus for the red. You can only get for the green or for the purple. Here we're holding. It was a Nazar that couldn't care less. He kept on drinking and drinking and drinking. And he chayiv ala achas. Like a person. They warned him once. Yeah, they gave him one, one hasra. And like a person who's b'chal Shabbos, over the same kill Shabbos, he's chayiv one. Omer lo, al tishta, al tishta. But if they broke it up and they came to him in the afternoon and they said, hey, I know you drink in the morning, we gave hasra and you get malchus for that, but now... We're warning you again. Vusha, he said, he drinks again. Chayev al kolachas vachas. Ochal anovim. Lachim. Vyveshim. He ate grapes, regular grapes. Vyveshim ate raisins. That's two. Chartzanim, he ate the seeds. Vizagim, and he ate the skins. Vesochat eshkol, and he squeezed out the a whole bunch of grapes. Shalanov. Vishosan, he drank the grape juice. Loike chamesh. How much does he have? He has five malchus. Now, I, I just want to point out right here because we're here. Rav Papa made this word up. He made it up. Like a chamesh, he made it up. It doesn't say chamesh. He stuck in a word to trip up Abaya, to ask him a question. The Braisa stops right here. Like a, he gets malchus. Rav Papa, in order to see if Abaya is on top of his game, Stuck in a word, I'm just telling you the end of the sugi because I don't want you, because we don't, it's hard to go back. He's stuck in a word chamesh. Now if he says chamesh, oh, it's a big problem. Why? Because Abaya says there's also the red one. So if he did all these five things, he ate the peels and this and that, he should be chayiv six. 
because of the Mikal Shias. Says the Gemara, Ihochi looked at Sheish. So Rapab asks him, why does it say it's my, why does it say Chamesh? It should say Sheish. It reminds me of the reverse question that asked the Vilna Gain when he was uh, like five years old. How come it doesn't say that if a baby is, is, has a bris milah, just like it says in the beginning of Megillah, that you could read the Megillah on the 10, 11, 12, like Pachas Vila Yaiser, 11, 10, whatever it is. And then by, but how come by bris milah in Mesech Shabbos it doesn't say it? It doesn't say, oh, you could do a bris milah on the 8th, 9th, 10th, depending. It should say like Pachas Vila Yaiser. So they, somebody was asking, like, what was the big gallus of the Vilna Gaines? He said, listen, when he was five years old, he answered the question. So the Rav said, you know what, let me think about it. Let me, let me come up with an answer. So he thought, thought, came with a whole back and forth. So they said, no, that's not what the Vilna Gaines said. The Vilna Gaines said much better. He says, let me think about it again. So he goes and he stings, he thinks, a drush and a pilpul. And he said, no, the Vilna Gaines did better. How, okay, I give up. I can't come up. That's it, I'm done. The, all my... Go and go and say when he's five years old, he says, it does say, Lepachas Vilei Yaiser. Ah, okay. So over here, this is the reverse. Rapapa says, but why does it say this word, Chamesh? And it, 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 we have six. The six Saveris, according to you, Mikolash Yos, Mikolash Yos, Mikolash Yos, Tana Bashir. Says the Gemara, you know, Yochi, Lilkia, Shei, Shachas, Al Mikolash Yos. Says the Gemara, Tana Bashir. The Brisa says Abaya. Yeah, I'll tell you why. The Brisa said five, but there's really six and the seven. The Brisa said some of, some of the Yisurim, not all of them. My shir, the shir. But you can't say five if there's only six. The rule is you could you don't have to say all the stuff if you have many things that you're leaving over, at least two. But if you're only going to not mention one and you already mentioned five, you might as well mention the sixth one. You can't just leave one out. You can leave two out. You can't leave one out. My shear, the high shear. But what else did he leave out? Shear, lo yachal dvar. Oh, now we have two things, says Abayo, that the Brysa left out. The lav of Mekoshi Yosa and the lav of lo yachal dvar. Did Abayo say that also earlier? So, as we're gonna, it's a good question you're asking, but we're going to see that this is Abayo's attempt at being doichet. So listen, if now you put me in a corner, it says Mufurish 5. Later on when he finds out that it was a joke, that Rav Papa was just testing him, then everything falls away. It's not a, not a lach l'maysa. Well, says, and the Gemara says, no. That's not considered one, because this pasuk here, where does it say it? Where by Nedarim. We had a Nedarim all the time. It happens to be that a Nazirus is a type of a Nedar. Maybe I only said things. Something that's original for a Nazir. That's already old. So it says in the Pasuk, we had this already. What's this lashon? I should say, What's ve'adzog? Ve'adzog means it's like they go together. From chartzanim to zog. So what's in between? The pulp. So we had a whole show when we learned the Gemara there. Tosa says that it can't, it can't be pulp because pulp is a grape and that already says anovim. Lachim, vivation, pulp is already. What is pulp? Pulp is grape. When you eat a grape, you're eating the pulp. Uh, maybe it means the grape juice, new grape juice. Okay. But I go upon him, it doesn't say, it's something. It doesn't say it. Over here, you can't say grape juice because it does say that he squeezed grape juice. So now you're going to have to say, pulp. Okay. El Amara Papa says, Gemara, let me give in, let me tell you the trick. Loitanyo midi chamesh doesn't even say five. I made it up. I'm trying to press a bite. Oh, boys, be chamesh. But Lamaisa, you are a papa. You quoted the Braisa. You said five. If it doesn't say the word chamesh, so then why are you starting up with a bite? Why, why do you even bring up the Braisa? Omar a papa. I know Savri love Gemara Yibi Yodin. I thought. 
that Abaya made this up himself. And I was trying to see how strong Abaya is in his position. If I could trip him up and make up a fake brisa, a brisa with one word extra, and I see that Abaya folds up and, and says, okay, I'm Aida, then I know he made it up himself. But if Abaya stands strong and says, no, maybe it's Loyachal Dvoroi, maybe this, maybe that, and he's trying every angle, then I know that he got it from his Rebbe, and he's trying to, to help out his Rebbe. That's what I wanted to see. And I didn't know the Gemari Biyadeh. I could tell that he got this from his Rebbe, and he wouldn't budge. He, he, st- he stuck to his guns, and the Bryce didn't bother him at all. So, It says like this in the Pasuk, and it says in Unklos, not like it says here, but in my Gemara, very interesting, first time I've seen this maybe, but I don't know if your Gemaras have it. It has the Pasuk and it has the Targum. And in English, Putsonim is seeds and Atsurim is skins. Now we said we had a Shaila, what is Kharzan and what is Zag? And then we brought the imbel as one, Rabbi Yossi said, it's like an imbel, it's like, it's like a bell. That the zog is on the outside, so Mela, he held that the zog means the, the skin. And chartzanim are the seeds. So that's what it comes out over here. According to the Targum, it's skins and seeds, the way Rabbi Yossi says it. What? Okay, you know, I'm saying the Targum is in our Chumash. I don't need to, it's in Unkelos. Oh, no, I, I, I was just saying that it's a, to me it was a Chiddush. The Torah R usually just brings a Pasuk, a very broad, a Targum instead of a Pasuk. Interesting. Kirb Yaisi. It goes like Reb Yaisi. Taisa just says over here, just you bring up Taisa. Taisa says, though, what do you do with the, the, the peel of something that you squeeze? And I don't know, I once heard, but it's probably wrong. How do you make white wine? No, Rabbi Schoenberg. Is it a different grape? No, oh. oh, that's 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 what I wanted to say. That it seems like from Tyson's that idea that to make wine you, you squeeze the skins and, and the, the way you make white wine is taking off the peel. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, good. Says the Heligan Mishnah. Oh, I forgot to do the sponsor. I have to go all where's the last Mishnah? It is the official Mishnah sponsored by Mordechai Sapaznik. I said, didn't I say my mother in the beginning? Go back to the beginning. I have a shayla for the oil. How's it feel? How's it feel? Says the Mishnah. The way you, I don't want to embarrass you, but I'll ask you a question. I'll, nobody answer, only Avi. No, it's okay. If a person is a Nazar and he drinks wine in the middle of his Nazirus, what happens? Now, I'll give you a hint. If he touches a dead body, what happens? Sicer. What happens if he drinks wine in the middle of his Nazirus? Rabbi, anybody remember? We learned it. Malchus, but does he does he ruin his Naziros? No. So we learned day for day, the days that he remember. <laughs> Chazara, why is Chazara? Now what if he takes a haircut in the middle? Takes a haircut in the middle of his Naziros. He can't stand anymore, huh? But oh, now I see you. I really wanted to read your article before today's year. I, I didn't have, I forgot completely. I saw it and said, I'm going to read it. The article about... The four, the six-legged creatures that walk on people's heads. Okay, so what happens when you drink wine? Do you have to start, uh, do you take a haircut? So what happens is that it's a technical thing. It doesn't ruin the Naziros, but in order to finish up your Naziros, you need to have here, you need to have a certain amount of hair. Now how much hair do you need? So it's either 30 days worth of hair or seven days worth of the original here. Says the Mishnah. Stam Nazir Shlashim Yaim. 
as we know, and we said many times, but we're starting this off just to, to give us a little bit of a background. The typical Nazirus lasts for 30 days. Gilach, it doesn't matter if he himself. It's, it's not enough. It doesn't make a difference if he himself shaved his head or somebody else shaved it for him. He must go back 30 days. What were you saying? If you want to be a Nazir, it's 30 days. If you don't say it's a certain amount of time. Right. If you don't say it's not Nazir, it's a typical, you can't do less. You can't do less. You cannot do less. What does it say? List the minimum. The minimum. And if you don't say anything, that's the you get the minimum. Why does it say list them? Like what's the finish of list them? Oh, because of this picture right over here. Oh, that's what I can't even see. It's lit. All tied up. It took a long time to, to do this picture. So I wanna I wanna focus on it. I wanna give it a little bit. He sits there and he and he draws for, for seven hours and then we show it in, in seven seconds. Here on the tree, there's a little thing. He goes, uh, Ratavin, Ratavin, lit. Will you quit moving? Easy does it, kid. Okay, well, what do you have here? What? Raisins, a phone. <laughs> the guy's taking out stuff from the guy's pocket and he has raisins in his pocket. I'll go bottom. They shave his head over here. That's what they do. List them. Why? I don't know. Well, it could be like, anything. It could be anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strange thing. Maybe list them uh, like the Nazis in Machshimam. Or maybe uh, a guy is a list them and he wants to mess with the guy, you know. Now they take a while, he takes off his clothes and shaves him good and now let's see you run away now. Call the cops now. He gives him a 10 minute head start. I don't know. I just don't know. Good child. He has to to keep his hair. So whatever his thing, let's say say they shaved his head two days into his Naziros and he's only a Nazir for 30 days. So he remains a Nazir. He has to be a Nazir for 32 days total. He, He needs a 30 day hair. Nazir shegila shegileach bein bezog, whether it was with a scissors, bein betar, whether it was with a razor, because the Torah talks about a razor. We're going to have a sugya today. Oishe sif seif kolshu, or he, he picked his hair. I saw. I, I don't know. You could argue if it's chil Hashem, not a chil Hashem. Some non-Jew took a video of a chassid on the subway that was going like this, pulling out his hair, and it went viral, millions and millions of views, and they were kind of making fun of Yidden. In it, but it's a it's a kind of gross thing. He's picking and picking his hair. So if you pick one hair out, one hair, you're over, huh? No, <laughs> no. I just it's a kolshu I won't show it, and I won't pass it on either. It's not something that embarrasses somebody else. It's loshen hara. It's also I just it's a kolshu Even one hair, ibaylu. Says the Gemara, hai mazio. This here, Milatachas Ravi, does it grow from the bottom or Milael, or grows from the top? Does anybody know what top and bottom is in, in this context? What's top, what's bottom? What do you think? Bottom. What's top? Uh, yeah. Bottom is the shortest. Okay. Bottom. Yeah. Very good. Oh, this is uh, that, that artist that also, that he, uh, the list and got him. Okay. This, I don't know if this is Trump. It looks like Trump. Tachas is by the scope. Lemala is by the top. The uh, Caesar, Franz Yusuf. He gave uh, Rabbi Frank. What, what, what's his name? The, the, I don't know what he was. He wasn't a Caesar. Uh, from Hungary, yeah. Emperor. I don't know what Emperor. his name was. Emperor, Emperor, Emperor. He gave uh, Rabbi Frein. He gave him a, a walking stick. A rabbish stick. But the top had a, had a cross. So he chopped it off. He took the risk and he took it off. So the, he saw him, the emperor saw him afterwards. He said, why did you chop it off? He said, it's too tall. So he said, so why don't you take off from the bottom? He said, no, the bottom fit well. It was the top that was too tall. <laughs> okay. I don't know if he got the joke. He was messing with it. I don't know exactly. Or it's the Ma'ish Toya. But where, where does the hair start from? L'may naf gemina, says the Gemara. L'naza she'gechu listim v'shiru bai k'day lachof roi shoy li'karoi. In this case, where a bad guy came and took off the hair, but he left him a little bit. He did, he did it with like a, a haircut machine. He gave him number one. And you're able to bend the hair in half and make it touch the, the scalp. If you say he grows on the bottom, Nazirus or Shakli, he took away the hair of the Nazirus. 
but if you say that it comes off from the top, Lemaisa he has here that, I don't know if you guys understand, so I decided I'll, I'll do a little bit of a, a demonstration here because I had a little bit of a hard time myself. I'll show you, I worked on this. Oh, I have my, uh, my wife's shaitel head and last night, I, I didn't tell her and I just took the shaitel and I put it on her bed and I, I did a whole, she thought there was a kid in there, she, whatever, it was a practical, practical joke. But I don't know if she'll appreciate the fact that I drilled a hole from the top all the way to the bottom. That part I'm not sure. Okay, so I have some tools there. I got to get my tools there. I have a lot of tools. I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to show the front. Okay, this red is. This is what the the nazir when the nazir had is, when he started his naziros he had this amount of hair. So this red becomes kaddish. He said, "I'm a nazir. It's kaddish." Now it starts growing. Hold on. I gotta. I gotta undo this from the bottom. This is not push it. I don't invoke a lot of stuff here. Okay, so now it starts growing, 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 growing. Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, so it grew. So now somebody comes and snips it right over here. So this red goes into the garbage, and what do you left? Let's say this is a kidei lachov. Okay, it's a lot more than a kidei lachov, but you don't have any gedusha in this here. You see, it's white. The red gedusha is snipped away. This is new. It grew after you became a Nazar. And it's not enough for the shear. You need either, what do we say? You need either 30 days worth or seven days of the original here when it became a Nazar. You have neither. This, the, the, the original here that became a Nazar, you snipped away. The new here is not 30 days worth. It's only, I don't know, uh, seven days worth. It's not enough. Oh, that's one way to look at it. That's if it, if it grows from the bottom. It keeps on pushing out. So push out all the good here. Now how, Rabbi said, how do you show hair growing from the front? Think, if you were a Magid Shir, how would you depict hair growing? I just showed you how the red turns into white. But how do you do white turn into red? The femod. Very good. That's exactly what I did. Mamash kacha. Here. I don't know if I should poke another hole in that and she'll kill me. I don't know. Anybody a marriage counselor? Okay. So now... Here's when he became a Nazir, he had red. And now all of a sudden, after he has red, he, it keeps on growing and growing, and it's white. And then comes a guy. <laughs> it's not gonna work. And now he has red hair left. So he's good to go, he could shave it. I can't show it again, sorry. <laughs> this, anyway, now let's see it inside. If it grows from the bottom up, he removed all the Naziris, he took off all the red, and now he's left with some white as garnished. But if the hair grows from the top, my dog dish, okay? At the end of the day, the red remains on the skull and you're good. Toshma. Mo'im b'chayom. So the Gemara brings a raya from this little guy. You could afterwards, afterwards. This is, a l'chayra, we're talking about a knit. Not a, not a louse, but an egg. So the Gemara says, because a louse could move. So you don't have a raya where the position, if, if a louse moves upwards to the top, maybe walk there. But if an egg was laid in a, in a certain place by the scalp, and you come back three weeks later and it moved up two inches, isn't that a raya that the hair grows from the scalp upwards? In the mesa, which it doesn't have its own power to move, raise the mesa. So 
Says the Gemara. Now, I just want to point out the Gemara and Shabbos is a very controversial Gemara. Controversial. A lot of people take the Gemara and Shabbos. The Gemara and Shabbos says that lice are, uh, what is it called? They, they Spontaneous generation. generation. They, they, they don't have, they don't come from eggs, whatever. And, and we had Pshatim over there. But over here you see the Gemara believes that there are eggs. So how do you explain that? They knew about the eggs. The Gemara, like what? The Gemara, they know that there's eggs. Over here it says Mephorish eggs. Some learned this Gemara. We're talking about very small lice. The best shot over there was that it's not spontaneous generation. It's just so small that the naked eye can't see it. The Gemara considers it as if it's spontaneous. But okay. So the Gemara, also, Nami, Mishum, the Lesba, Chela, because it doesn't have power, Surugis, Srig of Ozel, it slips down. Because it's dead, so that's why... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I did? Right, right, right. This is a Gemara. No, it, the, the hair keeps on moving from the bottom up, from the scalp up. Over here, it's mashma that we're talking about a live thing. But maybe the shot is, oh, somebody sent me this Gavalika video. How, how do you depict here moving and a louse trying to get to the bottom the whole time? Here. Right. <laughs> this went viral, supposedly. Because they weren't serious. They were literally trying to get to the bottom, this person from a different country, didn't know what escalator was. Okay, fine. But over here, I think... Maybe if you look at this picture, it, it seems like this la- this knit has a little bit of a yukhailas. I don't know exactly what. It has a couple of legs, a few eyes coming out. Okay, I don't know what it means. Toshma, huh? After it hatches, but so then it's not a then it's not a then it's not a knit anymore. Ayin in Rabbi Schoenberg's Vartaria this week, you'll get a much better understanding. Toshma. It's only three pages long, but you'll get a good what? No, 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 we're, we're still in, we're still in Chaya. But meaning it's alive, that's not dead, dead, it has some sort of power, it has some sort of something. Now, Toshima, Imba Mesa, what about this dead knit? Bereisha Devinto. Viso Ravi. Since it's dead. Oh, yeah, so let, let's go back a second. It's a live thing, the coin big for the Binto. If it keeps on moving, Bereisha the Binta Boyle Mekam. Okay, says Gemara Rovi. Toshma Imba Mesa. We're talking about a dead knit. Bereisha the Binta, which is on the top of the hair. How did the dead louse get to the top, to the end of the hair? It's dead. How did it? How did it walk there? Visokadai toch Mileil Rovi. And if the end keeps on moving, big for the Binta Boyle Mekam, it shouldn't be there. Since it doesn't have power to hold on so strong, so it slips. Toshma mibloiris the goyim. By me it says goyim. I don't know why they changed the gear. So maybe for I don't know, but kushim. But check this out because literally it means that it's like Jamaican dreadlocks, but the hair is shaved on the side. And I found the picture Baruch Hashem. So everything is shaved over here, but there's dreadlocks, real dreadlocks. Now, this is a good riot. You come back to the dreadlock after two months, and you see that the bottom doesn't have any locks. The dreads are gone. According to what you're saying, the end over here should have no locks. No, the end is perfectly tight. But the bottom is, is all loose. What's going on? The guy in the boss of the Megadlin law says, Gemara, the boss of the Megadlin law, Ravi Motachas, yeah. Awesome. Nami, I did the Kamta, he, since it's very tight, Mishikva, the Rafio. When a person lays on it and sleeps on it, he keeps on messing up the ends, the part that's close there. That's why it looks like it's, it's undone. Toshma. Huh? I know, I was, I was thinking about it. It, it, it. it didn't grow so much. Tashma. Miskarta the Rafi. So if a person takes red paint, like in this picture with Dr. Factor, here's a, a, one of the cousins with spray paint bottles painted a paraduma. So if you paint an animal, also, you could tell from the red paint on the animal 
that the bot- all of a sudden you have white coming on from the bottom. You paint the red. Three months later, in other words, hair dye. Look at the bottom of the roots. The Rav Yarim is dachas. V'tanyo or v'snan. B'su katsovit savio diknoin chavron. When an old man dyes his white beard, I was wondering about this. It's interesting. I didn't see really. I didn't look too hard. But it doesn't say that he, he died his hair because there's a problem of layubash simla sisha. But on a beard, maybe since a woman, most women don't have beards, maybe there's no iser to dye a beard. A new, a new shy, I never thought about it. Huh? And if that's the case, maybe I can start growing my beard. Savi, Savi, the Yikino in the Chaber. Says Gemara, Ikve, Nimoin, the base, Ik, Ekev, the base is. The here you see a change in color, light. I didn't like this. That's the spray paint of thing. Like this guy, like he dyed his hair, let's say, but once it grew, the, the original color comes back. So you see that the hair grows. No, you see that it grows from the bottom. We're trying to. Well, I know, no, I know. I couldn't find, couldn't find the picture, and I didn't like this shake. It's whatever. So I, I covered this. <laughs> I don't want women to complain that I, I do that to women. I do it to men also. Bottom line, okay. At the end of the day, it's obvious that the hair grows from the scalp. The Bryce says that it nazir that the bad guys shaved him. And they left him a little, they didn't give him a zero zero. They didn't go all the way to the scalp. They left, left him a little bit so he could bend his ear over. It's enough. But if the pshat is that it starts from the bottom, list or why? Because at the end of the day, he doesn't have 30 days worth of hair and he doesn't have any original hair. If he had a little bit of the original hair, like the antenna, and they cut off everything, but they left a little bit of the antenna on the bottom and that's original, that's enough. He doesn't have to be sizer. But if the pshat is it comes out from the bottom, and it's like this, and they took off all the red, and what is left, a little bit, but it's not 30 days worth. So why doesn't he have to start over? Why, is it, why shouldn't he count 30 days worth? Says the Gemara, Kigon Shikichu, Acher, yeah. Remind me again. Kigon Shikichu, Acher, Melois, because it was after 30 days. On the final day, but he didn't bring his Karbanas, and that's when they shaved him. Umani Rebel Yezer, he, the Omar, Kol Acher, Melois, Shiva, Shiva Soysa. If you already got to the final, you're already at the end, and you didn't bring your korbanas, and you became tame, so you do seven days. We learned that a lot. You do seven, you became tame. So too, if somebody shaves off your hair, you do seven days. And the members of the HBA group and their families. Hmm? Yeah, 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 yeah. He has to, he must grow his hair for seven days. He has to have seven days worth of growth. Yeah, if he has it, if they didn't take off the seven days worth, then it's okay. He doesn't have to go seven days. My time in the river lesson, where did he get this idea of seven days? It's 30 days. What's seven days? Huh? What? Yeah. A little bit of Kedai Lakuf. Right. That's what I just said. Yeah, yeah. If he has Kedai Lakuf, then he doesn't have to wait seven days. Seven, it's not a din like Tuma. This is to wait seven days. He needs Kedai Lakuf, whatever it is. Three days, seven days. Maximum seven days. We don't realize you get this. Yolav Tiglachas Tahar and Tiglachas Tuma, the shaving, the final shaving, he learns from when a person, when a Nazi becomes Tomei in the middle of his Naziros, Matiglachas Tuma Shiva. Just like we said, over the established over there, it's seven days. After the Achastar of Shiva, you need seven days worth of hair. And, and, and where do we get this Kedai Lakuf? We also learned the halach of Kedai Lakuf to bend over. The, the hair grows, Asim Mazi, hair grows. Kedai Lakuf, Roshili Kare, it's the same. Hainoach, seven days. And to bend the hair over to get to the scalp is seven days worth. Okay. Says the Gemara, Nazar Shigilach. I'm just skipping all the jokes, all the Vartiris. Nazar Shigilach, Ben Betar, Ben Bezug. Somebody in the Kyle said, Why is this week called Parshish Zachar? Because by Matan Torah, all the women became pregnant with Scharim. 
And nine months later is this week, and they all had shalom zachars. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> but that's not why it's Shabbos Zachar. <laughs> yeah, he. <laughs> Nazar Shigilach, that's how I start off my safer. Nazar Shigilach, Ben Mitar, Ben Mizug, or just Sif Sif, Kol Shulchayev. Tar, it says in the Pasuk, Tar, Kol Yimei Neden Izoy, Tar, look at this Pasuk. Tar lo Yabe Al Roishoy, that's a Loi Sase. Then it says, Kodli Shiye, Gadeil Pera, you should grow your ear, that's a Sase. Ein Li Elo Tar, I only seen the Pasuk, a razor blade. Talash, if you, Plucked it out like in the the, the, the subway. Mirit, or he used like uh, some sort of like I used to use like some sort of uh, cream when I was fifteen. Sif save. This they say the pshat is the best pshat that I saw so far is that he cut it, he pulled it out, but halfway. They also do that like, oh that's why the guys are going oh okay whatever. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> So this is like Rosh and Taisis Lachaira, because according to the Rosh, Rabbi Shai is saying that the only time you get Malchus is on a razor blade. But on the other things, if you use the scissors, says Rabbi Shai, you get an assay. You over an assay. Taisis argues on that. Rabbi Yoyda and Oimer, Tar. Ain't Liela Tar? That's it. He says, not true. You only get one Avera on one. Item which is a razor blade, mira, tola, shivsev, kolshu. If you plucked it out by yourself with your hand with the scissors, hotter. Ah, vuksev kodesh yeah. It seems like you're over an assay. Lememra says Gemara answer. Dim gilach le betar koim le baasei. I call my le baasei v'lo The 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 green is to add to the avera in one item only. It's not for other things. We're not adding. Scissors. We're saying that on a razor blade, you're over. Is this like coordinated? You guys on the left side? No, okay. Tanyidoch, tar, ain'ly, elotar. Now we have another bryce. Talash, mirror, sif, sif, kosher. We could stop here if we want. You know, let's stop here. I know, so whatever. We'll do it once Shabbos. We have plenty of time. Raboy Sai, have a wonderful day. Once Shabbos, 8 30. Matt Sharp, have a great Shabbos. 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 Shab